afternoon. <clears throat> now, I hate breaking holes as much as the next person. Um, you know, my idea of torture is someone getting an old pusher hold and then seeing it be snapped on the wall. So, in the interest of science, we've been conducting some testing over here at Climbing Hold Review, and we've talked up a box of holds which I have down on the floor up to 20 foot pounds of torque. Now, most people on average can talk up with a normal T wrench a climbing hold up to around 15 to 18. We took a lot of holds up to 20, we took them all to 15, we took them all to 20, some of them we took up to 30 because there was just no movement, you know, and our findings were fairly inconclusive. Um, a lot of times we pulled the teen up through the wall or, you know, we just got, you know, the washer pushed through on the hold. Now, it was fairly inconclusive and, you know, we're not Mythbusters, you know, we're not Adam Savage or Jamie Heineman over here. We're not the Mythbusters and, you know, we conduct science on a fairly low-key basis. So what I have for you today is the fabled drop test. Um, root setters, when you're setting, you're going to drop holds from time to time. Um, generally, it's onto a padded floor, but your worst case scenario is from the top of a wall. So what I'm going to conduct is a fairly simple, very low-key test. I'm going to drop a bunch of holds from the top of this ladder. I'm going to just knock the holds off the top of the ladder, you'll be able to see. Um, it's 57 inches high. Um, and I'm going to film what happens on the floor down, basically down here. I'm going to film what happens in um, HD and I'll show you all the results. Um, anything that breaks first pass, well it's broken, you know, if it, if it fails from 57 inches onto a concrete floor then, you know, it's going to break. Um, I'm going to just push the holes off the top and see how they fall, you know, much like if, if they were falling out of a bucket. and we'll just see what happens. Anything that passes the first is 15 inches, I'll go as high as I can. I'm not actually entirely sure how high that is. I'll, um, I'll find out for you in a, in a few minutes. I'll go as high to the ceiling and I'll drop them from the ceiling. You know, we could start chucking them out of the window, but you know, it's Friday night, it's late, it's raining outside and it's the middle of winter. So we'll give that one a bit of a miss. So this is the climbing hole review drop test. Um, let's see what happens. <laughs> The hold has actually um, cracked on this part here. No. Um, give me a sec. Yeah, we've got a crack across this area here, all the way across, all the way through the back. I'm pretty sure if I drop this again, the same way, it's just going to snap. Give me a second. And I can probably, give me a second. Yep, I can actually snap it now. And you can see the inside of the hold. So, a couple of drops there, managed to snap it. <laughs> That's actually broken. Um, in actually broke on the screw hole, if you see here, into three pieces, and they're really quite sharp pieces. It chipped, nothing that can't actually be repaired. Um, it's actually quite a smooth break, to be honest. Um, we'll go for a higher drop later on. Um, 
We've got some fairly heavy chipping all the way across the bottom here. Big chunk out of the side. Structurally, it's still intact and you can still climb on it. It hasn't actually affected the climbing surface, but there's chips of stuff all over the floor. Snapped in two. I'm actually pretty surprised by that. Um, I could probably glue it back together if I really wanted to. But yeah, completely snapped straight down the fall line. So, 57 inches is a fairly decisive height. We broke one of the element climbing holds pretty well. Um, they're not making this shape anymore, which is why I dropped it. Mm -hmm. We broke um, extreme holds, um, Dumby, the salt, but it took a, few, took a few drops, you know, it cracked on the first one, so, well, it needed a bit of a kick, so, you know, you can see it's broken straight on the washer. Um, I'd be kind of worried about an uneven wall with these guys, but you know, it's broken. It's all good. Osmos. Um, this thing just sheared and it's you know, really quite brittle. Broke actually on the screw hold and made some really, really, really quite sharp pieces. And surprise of the day for me is actually one of the holds um, dual texture pockets, which I've not, I wasn't actually expecting it. These are heavy, but I wasn't actually expecting these to break, but it snapped straight on the pocket. The two holds that we actually managed to chip, but you know, you could still use and if you could, you know, glue them back together, you should be fine. One of the uncarved block 30 degree wall sets and one of the Nitro's lot of balls. The lot of balls um, has huge chipping down the side, but it's a very big shape. We've, we've not actually, we've just gone for holds. I've picked a random bunch of holds that are sitting around in my room. Now, this is actually much heavier than this, you know, but this one's still chipped, we've hit the edge, and this one has chipped in a few places, you know. So we'll continue and we'll go for a higher thing with all the holds that are left. We'll go for a higher height and we'll see what happens.